Hello there, I'm Vaya and welcome to Candy Scabs. It's a visual novel type horror game, I think. It's the same thing every year. It's my birthday, says the voice. You're all invited. You're all invited and you will bring me candy and presents. And if you don't, I'll kill you. And I'll roast you, and I'll eat you, and I'll spit you out because you taste bad anyway. That was what the Void announced. And the Void is absolute. Oh, what are we going to do? I don't have any candy. Me neither. And I ain't got the slightest clue of what I'd want as a present. Maybe more candy? Good luck with that. Oh, what are we going to do? Come down, that's what. And after that, we'll drop by the human world to get some candy. What about the present? Listen, slow. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Human world basically has everything anyway. And if we're ever going to find a good present, it'll be there. Right, you're right. <laughs> you're smart, Eskar. I'm not smart, you're just dumb. Hey, screw you! <laughs> so, you're ready to go yet? Or do you want to sit here and cry some more? I want to cry, obviously. But we should go. Eskar opens the portal. Hmm. What? Something is wrong in with the portal. Oh, that figures. Looks like a bit over capacity. I guess that means everyone else wanted to candy to get candy too. Yeah, I doubt there will be anything left for us in the big cities. I knew it, we're gonna die. The boy will kill us and roast us and eat us and then it'll spill us out because we taste bad anyway. Man, I'm getting so sick of your negativity all the time. Oh, sorry, let me try it again. Oh, yes, yeah, woo, we're gonna die, best day ever. Wait, I think I found something. There's a good amount of candy in this remote location. So there's candy for us over there? Yeah, maybe not as much as in the big cities. But given that everyone is going to the cities, this might actually be better. We'll be the only ones in this backwater town and we'll get all the candy there. Yes, I knew you'd figure something out for us. You're so smart and wonderful and kind and the best. Correct. <laughs> now, let me add the humble... Now, let me add humble to that list. <laughs> Let's get going, shall we? The duo hops into the portal, as one does. And off they go, into the human world. But wait, it's never that simple. Of course not. Given how many creatures had hopped into in such a short period of time, the portal had lost its juice. Slova Eskar just had enough time to realize something was up but not enough time to do anything about it. And so, something pretty bad happened. Uh, where are we? Slow took a look around and realized there was no we. Eskar? Eskar? Where are you? Eskar? But no amount of screaming could reach Eskar. For wherever he was, it wasn't here. Oh crap, what am I going to do? Slow decided that the best course of action was to run around like a headless chicken. And that's exactly what he did. Until he spotted something. It was a dim light in a little ways away. So Slow slowly crept closer to that light. Oh, a pumpkin lantern. How nice. It must be here to guard his house. A human house, I think. There's probably humans living inside. Mm, knock on the door. There might be candy. And all the lights are off. Maybe all the humans are out right now? Uh, I really don't want to, but here's my chance. So knocks on the door, gently. And then hides. No one answers. Good sign, but I can't be too sure. So knocks on the door, roughly, and hides. Still, no one answers. The slow figure is no one is really home and starts kicking the door in. But he doesn't get far with that. After just a few kicks, someone opens the door. 
I guess they were home after all. Learn a little patience, will ya? I was already sleeping. Wait, you're not a Valerie, are you? What? Huh? No, no. What am I saying? Valerie would be dressed as a princess or something. So, what are you supposed to be? Uh, I'm a nightmare. Oh, a nightmare. That's a scary indeed. Hehe, <laughs> here you go. The old man's hand slough some candy. So can be belief as luck. Oh my god, this is exactly what I was looking for. <laughs> I bet you were. What did you know? Say, so, isn't here a little far to be trick-or-treating? The festival is a town square, isn't it? What festival? Oh, you didn't know about it? Are you new here? You could say that. Well, little fella, we usually have a pumpkin festival for Halloween. It's where everyone gathers to celebrate and kids go trick-or-treating together. If someone goes, why are you there? Why, I'm a tad too old for that ruckus. But you should go to the festival, it's safer. I'm sure you'll find more candy there than around lone houses like mine. Wait, you're saying there's a lot of candy in the pumpkin festival? Lots and lots of candy. Just head back to town and follow the lights. Alright, I I will head straight over. Thanks, human. <laughs> Take care, little nightmare. The old man closes the door and slow notices there's a puff on the ground. Must have been in touch too much of panic to notice before. Along the road, he soon spots bright lights shining through the woods. It has to be pumpkin festival. Maybe Eskar is there too, somehow. Soon, Slow arrives at the town square. Even though it's midnight, there are a lot of people. No one seems to notice him. Weird, I thought humans didn't like my kind. But that one was really nice to me. And no one here seems to care, even though I can tell they see me. No one were supposed to scream and cry and try to kill us. Was that all a lie? Not no sooner than no sooner has he finished that thought that, that when someone attacks him. I know it was a trap after all. I'll kill you. Not human. Oops, sorry, my bad. Huh? Human girl releases her grip on slow and steadies her footing. Thanks for catching me. Though she was the one doing the catching. I never won Worn high heels before. Uh huh. What? Yeah, they're harder to lock in than I thought. But my costume looks great. Huh? You can tell what I am, right? A human? <laughs> I'm the Tooth Fairy. What's a Tooth Fairy? Huh? You don't know about the Tooth Fairy? Really? What type of human? Oh, no, no. Maybe there's. There are kind of like humans, I guess. Tooth fairies collect teeth. Shh. What the? <laughs> Why? I don't know. To get money for them, though. You don't know, even though you are one. Okay, smarty pants. What are you then? I'm a nightmare. Is that like from a movie or something? Movie? No, I'm just a regular nightmare. Ah, oh, that's cool, I guess. My name is Valerie. What's yours? Slow. Okay, slow. Wanna hang out? Sorry, I really need to find some candy. And my friend. Oh, candy! Let's go together! I'm sure we'll find your friend, too. Slow thought it might be good to have a kind of, like, human tooth fairy around. She probably knows the ways of the humans. So they went to collect candy together. I'm glad we met. I was just about to go home. Because all my friends did already. I'm telling you, if you want to stay up late, you got a nap during the day. But did they listen? No. Sucks for them. I'm gonna get way more candy than all of them combined. Where is the candy? Huh? You gotta go door by door. By door. Come to think of it, I ain't ever seen you before. Did you just move here? I'm just visiting. How do we get the candy? We'll knock on the doors. Oh, but don't knock on the ones without pumpkin lanterns. Why not? They're not a part of the festival. They'll just get mad. 
Huh, so no pumpkin, no candy. Got it. Let's try Mrs. Brookstone. She's nice. She might even get full size candy bars from her. Before Slow can say anything, Valerie is already ringing the door, bro. Wait, I thought you said to knock? Huh? Who cares? Ah, trick or treat! Oh, what do we have here? I'm a tooth fairy, and he's a nightmare. Well, then I better give you some candy fast before you steal my teeth and give me bad dreams. Hee <laughs> hee, that's right. Slow is beyond confused. The lady's words can be fear, but her demeanor seems delighted. The two of them are clearly threatening her. Why the smile? Ah, she, uh, shoot. Ah, shoot, the bowl is empty. Wait just a moment. Ah, a tactical retreat. The smile must have been a fake one. Hee <laughs> hee. I told you she's a nice one. Nice, she just closed the... Slow loses the thought and as he spots something on the corner of his eye. A familiar figure, or so he thought. Eskai? Hey, where do you think you're going? Huh, what? The candy, Mrs. Bloomstone is just getting it for us. But my friend? Candy, Slow, candy! She makes a good point. And just then, the lady returns, oddly enough. Both of them get some chocolate bars. Hehe, <laughs> thanks. And see you later. See you later. Say hello to your mom for me. Okay, bye bye. As soon as Slow has re secured the candy, he dashes towards the direction he saw Esker at. Huh? Where? But he came here. Sheesh, don't take off like that. You saw him too, right? No, I have my eyes on the prize. This thing. Slow watches in horror as Valerie takes a bite of the candy bar. What are you doing? You, you can't eat that. What are you talking about? Of course I am. Huh? But, but the void? What? My spawner. You, it'll get mad. Oh boy, so you have those kind of parents. Ugh. Boo, don't eat all the candy. It's all poison and full of checks. No. What the crap? Yeah, exactly. So relax and eat some candy. It's not mine to eat. Yeah, it is. At least uh, at least eat the chocolate Mrs. Bloomstone gave. She's my mom's friend. I promise it's not tampered with. Oh, don't you there. I... I can't. It's for the void. <sighs> Your loss. It's not a loss at all. I'm glad to give it all my candy. Let your friends eat the candy you collect? Yes. That's messed up. They're old enough to buy their own. The void is not messed up. Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to insert your folks. I guess it's different for tooth fairies. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. So, are we cool? Yeah, sure. Anyway, I guess Eskar wasn't here after all. But at least I know he's around. Let's keep trick-or-treating. I'm sure we'll run into him again. Right. And so the two of them continue their trick-or-treating. Say, Valerie, I've been wondering about something. Okay, shoot. I keep seeing all kinds of monsters around. But I thought humans are afraid of scary things like that. Are we playing monsters now? Uh, I, are, are we? Alright then, let's see. Um, oh, once a year, a spooky night comes. The All Hallows Eve. And the scary creatures from the realm of beyond come creeping and crawling around. Like these fairies? It's not. Yeah, like these fairies. And the scariest of them all. Anyway, they come. And the only thing humans can do to appease these demons is to give them candy. Ah, oh, I see. That's, I guess, humans used to it then. Because they don't seem to mind us. Yep, yep. They taste. They better be nice to us after all. Or we might play tricks on them. Um, just glad it's like that. I thought humans would kill me. No one kills monsters anymore, or witches, or anyone. Really? I heard humans kill each other all the time? They do? Don't they? Valerie looks worried. Maybe she doesn't know that much about humans after all. Well... You don't seem to worry about humans murdering humans anyway. 
Because you're a tooth fairy, not a human. Uh, I guess so? Well, let's stop talking about that kind of stuff. We've got candy to collect. Right, let's get to it. They visit several houses and get candy from almost all of them. Incredible. There should be plenty enough candy. Now I only need to find the present and this card. Valerie catches slow, marveling at his candy. Hehe, <laughs> what do you think? I'm picking some good houses, huh? You are. Do you know all these humans? I guess. Impressive. I don't care that you're a tooth fairy. Sure. But I think I don't get the teeth part. Why do you want those? It's not like you can stick them in your mouth and start biting things with them. All I know is that tooth fairies give you money for your teeth. Why? Maybe they're valuable? Valuable, huh? Yeah, I know some people collect teeth too. Like my grandpa, he turns beer, bear teeth into necklaces and stuff. Do you know that? Turn teeth into necklaces? Ew, no way. Plus things about teeth. Would the void like a necklace? Would a void... Oh my gosh. Would the void like a necklace made of teeth? The more he thinks about it, the more he's convinced. It would be a very good present. That no one else would figure to give such a gift. But where do you get the teeth? Ask Valerie. Do you have a lot of teeth? Huh? You seem like a skilled collector. You got us all this candy. So I'm sure you're, you're a very good tooth fairy too. So now you must flatter your target before asking them for a favor. Yeah, well, I sure look convincing. I got the wings and everything. Yeah, and the shoes. <laughs> I think I've gotten the hang of them, actually. I haven't tripped in a while. Right, so you must have quite a collection of teeth. Sure, and you must have all the kinds of all kinds of nightmare fuel in your pocket. No idea what that is. I don't need to fuel to cast a spell. Oh, spell! So you're not only a nightmare, but a wizard, too? What? No, I'm just a nightmare. I can cast a bad dream, that's just common sense. Sure thing, buddy, if you say so. And you should see the night terrors Esker can summon. What are those? The absolute worst thing you'll ever dream of. Oh, okay. Anyway, I was just thinking you could give me some of your teeth? Are you trying to tell a joke or something? No, I need some teeth. I think they'd make a great present for the void. And I have to bring it a good present, or it'll kill me, and roast me, and eat me, and then spit me out. You're scaring me a bit. Don't say worse things like that. What's weird about it? It just is. Come on, we still have some houses to visit. It looks like Valerie isn't willing to part with any of her teeth. It's understandable. If the teeth are that valuable, it would be stupid to give them away that easily. But no, Slow is sure. A necklace of human teeth is going to be a perfect present. Still, Slow is a little sl sad. He thought maybe him and Valerie were becoming friends. He must have thought wrong. It seems like Valerie would just be fine letting the void eat Slow. Either way, the two of them decided to look for a place to rest. Oh, my feet are killing me. Slow looked at her feet. They didn't look aggressive. Oh, I'm getting a little sleepy. Oh. Yeah, maybe that's enough trick-or-treating for tonight. Yeah, I think we have enough candy. Too bad we didn't find your friend. He you probably went home already. Huh? What? What do you mean he went home? I mean, it's pretty late. Most kids are definitely home by now. So your friend probably went home too, right? Probably not. I don't think he would have gone home without me. He knows I can't even get home without him. Huh? Why not? Yeah, I don't know how to get back. He's the only... He's the one who took us here. That's bad. I didn't even realize you were lost. I'm not lost. He is. Oh. Valerie's very tired. Her feet hurt from bearing a big girl's shoe all evening. And she ate so much candy, she's feeling quite nauseous. Her mom must be worried too. It's past her curfew. Really, all she wants to do is go home, but she can't. She won't. A little slow finds his friend. Uh, Alright. Huh? Let's go look for your friend. Really? 
Yeah, you can go home without him, right? Yeah, but are you okay? I'm okay. We'll take a quick look around. And if it's helpless, we can get my mom. She'll know what to do. So doesn't like the sound of all that. Who knows that a tooth fairy mom would do to a nightmare? She might not be as nice as Valerie. But as long as they find Eskar soon, it should be all okay. Alright, let's go. But first, I'm exhausted. Let me go wash my face, and maybe I'll refresh me for a bit. Okay. Valerie walks around towards the set of stairs they lead down <clears throat> toward two doors. Flo follows, but is interrupted. Hey, you can't come in here. It's the ladies' room. Huh? Just wait here. It'll be only a minute. Okay. And so Valerie disappears into the one of the rooms. Flo also disappears. Why, you wonder? Someone appeared from behind and pushed him into the other room. Eskar! Finally, I thought that thing would never leave. Where were you? It, I've been looking all over. I was tailing you, looking for a moment to, to rescue you from that human. Now be quiet. We'll wait until she leaves. What are you talking about? What human? Are, are you stupid? That human you were just with. A realization dawns through sloth. Down the sloth. So, Ah, uh, no, no, no. She's not a human. She's a tooth fairy. A what? A tooth fairy. They're kind of like humans, but not really human. Is that what she told you? Huh? Listen, slow. That's a human. Everyone here is a human. What do you know? How do you know that? I saw lots of different creatures around earlier. That's because you're lazy and didn't look properly. These were all humans in costumes. They're pretending. Why would they? I don't know. It's a game, I think. If you're in a costume and knock on doors with the pumpkin lanterns near them, you get candy. That's what I've been able to gather. I got candy in that way, too. I know, I saw you. And I was so scared, you idiot. What were you thinking? They, the human didn't mind me. Yeah, that's only because they thought you're human in costume. But if one of them found out the truth, you'd have been dead. I can't take my eyes off you for a second. Don't ever do that again. Well, it doesn't matter now. I found you, and you're safe. I got us the candy. Go shows Eskar his candy collection. And just like that, all the anger and worry in Eskar's face washes away. Oh wow. Oh wow, you sure did. It's incredible. Slow. Yes, yes. Praise me more. The boy's gonna love this. As long as we get a good present, we're set. And Dad, I know just the thing. Oh? A necklace made of teeth. Teeth are apparently valuable. Assuming that wasn't another lie. Tooth necklace, huh? Esker thinks about it. That's actually a pretty good idea. I can see the void liking something like that. Right. Right. Get that girl over here. We'll pull her teeth out. What? Huh? She's the one who helped me get all this candy. And she's also the one who's been lying to you this whole time about being a fairy or whatever. Disagree. Listen, Eskar. You said the humans are in costumes and it's a game. Correct. Maybe she thought I'm in the game too. And she doesn't know I'm really a nightmare. That much is obvious. She'd have screamed for help otherwise. So I'm thinking she didn't mean to lie to me. She was telling me she's a tooth fair because that's the game. That's not the point. The point is she'll want you dead once she finds out you're not a human. But maybe not. She doesn't seem to mind a lot of things. So maybe she won't mind me, or you, or nightmares in general. I worry about you, Slow. Huh? You're gonna get hurt. Or killed. Or both. At the same time. Slow? Oh, Valerie! Sorry, sorry. I was just worried since you didn't see- since I didn't see you. Oh, is this the friend you were talking about? Yeah, this is Eskar. Nice to meet you, Eskar. I'm Valerie. Hi. Alright, I'm not supposed to be here. Sorry, I'll wait outside. Slow. Yeah? We need to go we need those days. I'll figure something out. We don't really have the time. The birthday party is going to start soon. Let's just get out of here now. 
Hehe, <laughs> here you are. Uncle, you found your friends, though. That means we can all go home now. Oh, I guess so. Don't be sad, we can hang out again tomorrow. Probably not. Where do you live, anyway? We can walk you there. Thanks, that makes me glad, actually. I didn't want to walk alone this late at night. Say, uh, Valerie. Yeah? Are you afraid of nightmares? I guess they can be pretty scary. Huh. But they're not scary. But they're not as scary. I'm not scary. Sure, I wouldn't mind a nightmare as small as you. Don't be so sure. Stop it, Escar. Alright. I live right through here. Thanks for walking me. Before you go... Yeah? Don't you want to see what Slow Riddle looks like? You're going to be... If you're going to be hanging out later. That's... Ah, oh, that's right. I haven't seen your face yet. No, that's okay. I just throw this out of every time. All the time. What's that? Come on now, Slow. You can't build a friendship on lies. Yeah, I haven't been lying. I've been honest this whole time. What are you guys talking about? Take the hood off, Slow. No, what the hell, Iskar? Stop it! You don't want to do it because you know I'm right. Quit it! Valerie doesn't know what to do. Why are the two of them suddenly fighting? Should she try to inter interfere? But before she can decide, Eskar managed to pull off Slow Sweetie. Oh, yeah. Wait, Valerie, wait! No, wait! Molly tries to run for it, but her shoes won't allow for that. She twists her ankle and she tries to turn around. She falls on the ground. No, no, are you okay? Go away! Stay away from me! With Valerie's struggles to get away from Slow, Eskar has circled around her. He has picked up a loose brick from the ground and strikes the back of her head with it. The collision between the brick and her skull isn't that loud, but to Slow, it may as well have been an explosion. So we can only catch up in horror as Eskar keeps hitting her head over and over. She didn't even scream. The first blow must have been enough. Eskar is making sure she is dead. That trash can. Empty it. Empty the trash can, Slow. Slow jolts out his days and does as he is told. He empties the trash can onto the ground and Eskar fills it with Valerie's lifeless body. We're leaving. Let me carry this to the portal. Bye. Quickly now, and quietly. The can is hard to carry, but at least it's slightly less conspicuous than hauling a corpse around. But there are only a few humans around, and most of the lights have been turned off. Someone yells at them to stop messing around and take the trash back where it belongs. The rest is and slow, quickly scurry away. Phew, we should be in the clear now. Yeah. Let me just open the portal. We're taking her with us? Duh. I thought we just needed the teeth. I don't want anything to get them out with. But no one will be able to find her if she's with us. Oh, is that a problem? Her friends will be sad. Yeah, they're gonna be sad either way. If someone killed you, I'd like to find your body. Like, it's a weird word to use in that context. I mean, I'd want to be sure that's what happened. You died. It'd be horrible if, to wonder if you're still somewhere suffering. At least I'd know it's all over for you then. Sure, I guess. I'm gonna look for something to get the teeth out with. Fine, but please be fast about it. Flo finds a pointy rock. And uses that to get her teeth out. It's horrible. He can't stop crying. But it had to be done. It had to be done, or the void would kill them. It would kill them, and roast them, them and spit them out because they taste bad anyway. So, that's enough, I think. I don't think we need all of them. Those are, these are fine. Come on, let's go home. She was so nice! She was a liar. She helped me out. She was gonna get someone to kill you. <laughs> you really think so? Yeah, definitely. I mean, she probably wasn't thinking that. But if she had reached someone, the humans would have gathered and hunted us down. Really? 
yeah. And it must be true. Because it, it was said by Eskar, who was always right. Let's go, before we miss the birthday party. Yeah. He left Val Valerie in the forest. Surely some other humans would find her corpse. And it would be awful and sad and painful for everyone. Like it was awful and sad and painful for Sloth, too. Eskern and Slow turn Valerie's teeth into a necklace. Come on, Slow. Stop crying. We're making You're making me sad, too. Why do you have to show her my face? She was going to find out eventually. Not if I just left and never came back. Then there would be... Then where would we have gotten the teeth? Uh, that's enough. You only knew her for like a few hours. Stop crying like it was the friendship of a lifetime. I'm sorry it was so gory. I'm sorry it was so sudden. But I'm not sorry at all for getting you out of there safe and sound. And I'm so not sorry she's dead. You're so awful. Yes, I am. And I'm not sorry. Now let's clean up and get going. We're going to miss the birthday party. Yeah, you're right. You always are. Correct. Now let's hurry. And hurry they do. They make it a birthday party right on time. Which is good. There's no such things as fashionably late for the void's birthday. There's only late. Late, as in our late friend who will sorely be missed, kind of late. Ha ha ha! Welcome to my birthday party! Give me the presents and candy now! Everyone showers the void with candy and presents. It re revels in it. Ha ha ha! And who gave me this? It's looking, it's, it is looking at a, a, an aquarium off to the side. Inside it, it is a mantis shrimp. If you know what those are, you know they are fearsome or awe inspired creatures. I did. Is it to your liking? I love it. I will take good care of it. And this? Who gave me this? It is looking at the tooth necklace Eskar and Slow made. It's from me and Slow. What is it? A necklace made of human teeth. Oh, human teeth are so small. They're very cute, but I like it. We're so happy you do. You don't look happy. The void is looking at Slow with a frown. He's happy too, right Slow? You're delighted. <laughs> so delighted, huh? Those are tears of joy. Come on, Slow, smile. Despite Eskar's pleading, Slow can't bring himself to smile. He can't stop thinking about how scared Valerie looked. Or the sensation of getting those teeth out of her mouth. Nor the vision of her lying bloody on the ground as they left. Enough! No one ruins my birthday! I don't invite crybabies. You'll all celebrate, celebrate or else. The void grabs a hold of Slow, so violently that something snaps. And then it throws Slow into the bonfire without that much as a glance. It then devours him, giving Slow a few good chews. But then it spits him out. Gross. Mm. Well, at least the candy is good. Ooh, who got me this one? The void moves on to other presents. The birthday carries on. But for whatever reason, just like Slow before him, Eskar wasn't in much of a party mood. Good thing the void was too busy with the other presents to notice. Well, well, wasn't that a terrible ending? Really, the worst ending, possible ending to the story. Are you happy now? Or are you sad? Bored, maybe? You heartless bastard, you. Either way, Slow and Veli are dead now. Eskar has no idea what he's going to do next. Then, when the worst Void's birthday comes around again. Worst end. Yeah, I'm, I'm bad at the choices. <laughs> um, hope you guys enjoyed this game. Because it was a good read. I'm just really sad that everybody died. Poor babies. See you in the next one. Goodbye.